Should you or shouldn't you register for VAT as an Amazon.ae seller? All the information in this video. Keep on watching. So you've decided to start selling on Amazon in the UAE, you've opened your account and all of a sudden you get an email about VAT registration. I know that a lot of you has, have actually reached out and sent me um, emails, uh, messages, comments on Facebook, here in YouTube, and all of you have this uh, question about whether you should or shouldn't register for VAT and how it actually works. So I'm going to address all your questions and all your concerns in this video. If this is your first time watching a video on this channel, Hi, my name is Crystal, I'm a professional Amazon.ae seller and I am the founder of Amazon Sellers Society Middle East. If you want to learn how to sell successfully on Amazon in the UAE, join us by becoming a member. You'll find all the information in the description box below. To get more answers and professional answers, I asked the tax manager at JAXA Chartered Accountants, a company with around 12 years of experience in the UAE, Sajith. He's going to be answering all the questions in order to help us out and in order to help you understand when you should or shouldn't register for VAT. So Sajith, thank you so much yeah. for spending some time with us. So yeah. let's just clarify a little bit. Who is supposed to actually register for VAT? Is Amazon mm -hmm. paying the VAT? Is Amazon registering me as a seller? Uh, for Because I get these questions all the time. Who yeah. does this registration and who is supposed to do it? Can you just clarify mm -hmm. it, please? See, the thing is that as a seller, you are the person who is making the sale. Amazon is merely a platform that helps you to make your sale. So since you are the supplier, you are... Uh, responsible to get registered for VAT and you are responsible to charge VAT to your customers. So Amazon merely is a logistic provider, logistic support service you can say. So Amazon does not take responsibility for the sales or the back on the sales that you make as a seller on the platform. So I think even in the Amazon FAQ, if you see, they have specifically said that they are not responsible for the VAT on the sales that you make. It's always the seller who is responsible. So if you, uh, Ms. Crystal, is a seller on Amazon and you make a sale in UA, then you are responsible to see the, the obligation to get registered for VAT. And once you are registered, you are supposed to charge VAT on your sales. Now, as you know, you can sell uh, on Amazon in the UAE, whether you are a resident of the UAE or whether you're not a resident of the UAE. And that's the beauty of actually selling on Amazon. It's such a global business that you can do it from anywhere, well, practically anywhere and all over the world. So should you register if you are a resident of the UAE, whether you're a company or just an individual? Should you register if you are a non-resident? Let's see what Sajith has to say about that. See, for any resident suppliers or resident sellers, there is a minimum threshold that you need to have to be eligible for VAT registration. So the minimum threshold, there are two types of threshold. One is the voluntary threshold and another one is the mandatory threshold. Yeah. So the voluntary threshold is 187,500. And if you exceed that threshold, that is your sales goes above that limit, yeah. then you have the option to get registered. It's not mandatory for you to register, but you have the option to get registered. But the second threshold, that is the important one, which is the mandatory threshold of 83,000. So once you exceed that limit, then you are obligated to register for VAT. That is, there is, it's, not, it's not a choice. It's no longer a choice. So you have to get registered. Now, this threshold, what they say is that this threshold should be uh, considering your sales for the past 12 months. So, Okay. And that's if you're a resident. What if you're a yes. non-resident? For a non-resident, as per law, there is no threshold. So once you make a sale in UAE and where the goods are already in UAE, then you are liable to get registered as soon as the sale happens. So like for Amazon, you ship your materials well to be stored in Amazon warehouse in UAE. And once you start making the sale of that product, then regardless of the limit of amount of the sale, you're obligated to get registered for VAT. That is as per the law. Okay. Your biggest concern was whether you as regular people can actually register for VAT 
uh, on the Federal Tax Authority website, the FTA website in the UAE? Is it something doable? Can you do it yourself? What yeah. about actually doing the registration process? Is it something that I can do by myself? Is it something that I can do online? And when is it done? Because I know a lot of people don't know that you know, you need to uh, uh, just show your earnings every three months when you are actually registered in VAT. So can you yeah. just, in the beginning, can we just clarify uh, basically how, it's, how this procedure is done? Obviously, there's the FTA in the UAE that we, we apply yeah. to. Is this something that I can do by myself? Is it, is it an easy thing like they do it in the US or do I need a professional company to do this for me? See, frankly speaking, it's not a very complicated process. You just need to know what details to fill in the application. The application is completely online. It is available on the FDA website. And FDA has released a comprehensive user guide to, that uh, specifies how you need to register, what, what documents you need to get registered, what details to be filled in each field of the application. So if you have the time to go through all of that and understand that properly, then it's something that you can do on yourself. You don't have to depend on anyone. Because that form itself is quite simple. So you just need to know what to fill in where and what documents to provide. And a second aspect is once you submit the application, if they can take at least 20 business days to process your application. So that is a minimum time. So they can take uh, a time some longer than that to process your application. And in the course of their review of the application, they will come back to you asking more questions, more detail, more documentation perhaps. So if you are able to uh, address those by yourself, then it's, 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 I wouldn't really say you need, you need a, exactly a professional help to do the registration. Maybe after the registration for submitting your VAT returns and everything, yeah. since you will have a lot of queries and you might not have the time to go through the entire VAT law and everything, various provisions associated with it, then I would say you definitely would need a professional help. But registration, by far, it's not complicated, but people might not have the time to really understand the whole process or just follow up with the FTA or get back to FTA with their queries, etc. Then, yeah, if you feel that uh, it's not something that you can manage uh, with your time, then definitely seek a professional help. So now you know all there is to know about VAT and selling on Amazon in the UAE. If you like this video and you find it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.